So today, in partnership with Samsung and Qualcomm, Google announced Android XR. It's a platform to extend your reality, to explore, connect, and create in new ways. Now I'm gonna show you guys the first two minute introduction video by Google, and then we can get into some of the really cool features because this is probably gonna be how you actually use AI on a day-to-day -day basis in the nearby future. Why would you say now is the right moment to launch XR? Yeah, so for pretty much the history of computing, we've been using the rectangular box of a screen display. Whether it's monitors, laptops, tablets, or phones, XR has the power to extend beyond those boundaries. I think now is the perfect time to work on XR because you have a convergence of all these technologies and Gemini is key to powering Android XR. The underlying technology allows us to process inputs from all different kinds of signals, much like you process the real world. The magical thing about XR is that it's moving computing to a place that's truly as natural as you can imagine it. Android XR is our new platform for headsets and glasses. It offers some of the best tools for developers to use, and it reduces a lot of the friction. We've been in this space since Google Glass, and we have not stopped. Things like AR Core, the Geospatial API, Lens, Live View, Translate, and now Gemini. We can take those experiences, which already work great, and find new ways to be helpful for people. When we talk about headsets and glasses, we think about headsets as episodic products that you put on for a specific reason. When you're watching the game, Gemini could break down everything about Freddy's Grand Slam. This is the most visceral incarnation of any 3D space or spatial environment you can, you can think of. I can't wait to spatialize old videos. It'll feel like you're right in your memories again. And then we think about glasses as all-day products that you use to get value throughout your day. Our technology really enables us to shrink down the displays that go into the glasses. We'll see more of these highly portable devices that will more and more look like the ones I'm, I'm, I'm wearing right now. With glasses, you'll feel like you're a local, no matter where you are. There's no way we could build this platform other than collaborating very closely. We've been working with Samsung for a number of years, and so we look for opportunities where we could really marry each other's strength in creating something new. From software and UX to hardware, cross-functional partners across both companies have worked seamlessly around the clock as one team to build a powerful XR platform. We've learned that we can build the best platforms with an ecosystem of developers, designers, and device makers. A lot of deep collaboration happens for us to bring the best solution to the ecosystem, to the platform, and to the users. Alone, you can go fast, but together you can go far. And the only way we'll get there is if we build this together. So you can now see that we are literally at the intersection where all of these technologies are coming together to allow us to actually get that true augmented reality experience. Now, there are three key areas that I actually want to explore here because when we actually have these incredible glasses combined with the abilities of Gemini, you get a completely transcended experience on a day-to-day -day basis that the average user is going to want. Take a look. Hey, Gemini, what have I missed in the Besties group chat? Me and Sarah are discussing meeting later today at Geo's Pizza to celebrate Kelsey's promotion and are wondering if you can make it. Are there any vegan options there? Yes. Reviews rave about the mushroom penny pasta. Great. Tell the group I'll be there. Oh, and can you send the pick of the blue just to let them know what I'll be wearing tonight? How's this? Awesome. Send it. Is there a store where I can get a card for Kelsey nearby? Serendipity cards is a good choice. Let's go. So I don't know about you guys, but that ability to actually have real-time directions embedded directly into your glasses seems entirely futuristic. Imagine going to a city where you know nothing. You don't know where anything is, and you're able to. Simply ask your glasses, hey, can you remind me where this is, where that is, and you don't have to, you know, pull out your phone and hold it, especially in some, you know, areas that aren't too safe. You can just immediately see what's up on your heads-up display and navigate to the correct location. And another thing that you could do is that when you're traveling, you could also use these glasses to get real-time translation. <laughs> Hey, Gemini. Yes. 
<laughs> Which one is spicier, the beef bulgogi or the bibimbap? Bibimbap is spicier, bulgogi is sweeter. Hampun. 안녕하세요. 무엇을 주문하시겠습니까? Beef bulgogi. 네, 16불입니다. 아, 그리고 현금만 받습니다. 감사합니다. 옆에서 기다리시면 돼요. When you actually have Google Gemini Flash that is able to reason across your real-time space and look at exactly what you're doing and give you advice on things you might not know, how this is going to be something that is incredibly powerful for getting to grips with things you simply need help with. Hey Gemini, how should I hang these shelves? A standard way to hang shelves would be to hang them in line, on top of one another. An alternative would be to hang them staggered for a more expressive approach. Let's go with the first option. How do I get started? Step one, decide on shelf placement and mark the wall lightly with a pencil. Use a level to ensure they'll be straight. Where did I put my level? I saw the level last on the console next to you. Place the level on top of the shelf and adjust until the shelf is even. Honestly, I'm just thinking about the vast applications of the Android X R. I mean, imagine you are cooking something and you can ask the model, hey, does this look like it's done? Yet, hey, do I need to add more seasoning here? Hey, how do I change this on my car? Hey, how do I move this? How do I fix this? I mean, the possibilities truly are endless. Now, Google have mentioned that Android XR will first launch on headsets that transform how you work and explore. And the first device is going to be this, you know, Project Muhan built by Samsung. And this is going to be available for purchase next year. Now, with these headsets, they're basically trying to reimagine how you use your favorite and Google apps for headsets. You can watch you know, YouTube and Google TV on a big virtual screen. You can also relive your CH memories with Google Photos in 3D. I'm not sure if that's completely dystopian or something that's going to be incredibly nostalgic, but either way, I think this is really effective in terms of technology being put to good use. Now you're going to be able to explore the world in new ways. With Google Maps, you know, sharing of cities and landmarks in immersive view. And because it's Android, a lot of your favorite apps are basically going to work right out of the box. So it's going to be really crazy in terms of what you're going to be able to do for your entertainment side of things. And I think something like this is really incredible considering how it manages to blend seamlessly with reality, which is something that's not completely invasive, but it's this augmented reality that allows you to not only have the base level of reality, so it's not like VR, but it's like, okay, I can now mesh this with my real reality. So I personally think this is probably going to be one of the biggest products of the decades. I know that is a huge statement, but as someone that has actually used the MeTag glasses, if my MeTag glasses had Gemini AI built inside of them, and I was able to talk and reason with regards to what I am currently seeing on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not sure I would rather not use them because many of the times during the day, we have to switch over from one tab to use ChatGPT. But how easier would it be if you just had some glasses on your head and you could just easily ask them, hey, on my screen, yada, why, why, or hey, I've got this in my hand and what do I do? X, Y, Z. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the future is. Blended with an eye in this way. So for those of you who think that Google are behind in terms of their AI and of course their hardware, I can assure you that Google are definitely cooking up even more products for the foreseeable future in terms of AI. And of course with this new Android XR platform. Let me know if this is something that you would get as soon as this becomes available. I am definitely going to be one of the first people in line to buy these because I'd love to see how that could help me become even more efficient on a day-to-day -day basis.